I thought I'd do a blog update of where I'm at right now. It is October 2022 and we are all settled. Yeah, Rambo. Rambo's looking at me through the stairs. We are all settled in our new home, which we love. Very spacious and we have been systematically de-junking. There's a bit more to do, but I'm going to wait till spring for that. It's functionable. And I was kind of thinking about 2022 this year and how it's things have happened this year and unexpected things have happened this year and how I've coped, not coped, done things to help, done things not to help or not done things. And it really has been a, a journey and a kind of lessons learned is, I think I've said before, this house feels like a reset for me and Ange. It's, you know, we call it healing house. And sometimes you've kind of just got to hit rock bottom to build yourself up again. And, you know, for those that you would know me slightly or know me via Facebook, you will possibly know unless you just unfollow and don't bother uh, that uh, my mum died in March and that was very sudden and um, clearly very upsetting as well and you know we went to a grave to plant some flowers on Saturday I had Covid last week and I was very fortunate to have a what I thought was a mild mild dose of testing positive whatever virus tests positive on those little devices and it was very like a heavy cold, but the exhaustion to the water back end of last week was, was not nice. And I'd slept and I'd sleep and I just feel completely knackered still. And it wasn't very pleasant, that side of it. But luckily I didn't have the, any breathing problems or loss of taste, which is great when you like troughing food. And so we visited with my sister and Ange, my mum's uh, grave in the beautiful Tithe Green Burial Ground on Saturday morning and they planted uh, some flowers and things. I've got some knee problems at the moment, so I'm on walking stick and, and try and get in physiotherapy to strengthen the muscles. It, it's nothing major. I mean, yeah, I've got to lose some weight big time, but I think sometimes your body just reacts to the emotional situations. I think mine has very much reacted to some of the things I've been through this year and my immune system has and and spending a lot of time sat down crying or making music doesn't exercise me and that that kind of didn't do me any good really so I've neglected kind of physical exercise which I'm slowly now trying to build up but when you've got two knees that you know I've had to be on crutches today at work which I'm a bit like oh my god it took me half an hour to walk from the top of Nottingham City Hospital campus to the South Corridor and it's a bit like oh wow but it will get sorted unfortunately I was vacuum cleaning in here on Sunday and better and around I've got a problem with my right knee my left knee went so I'm not seeing a physiotherapist till November but um yeah I'm like god but it'll get sorted it, you know rest and recuperation I'm not doing a poor me but yeah, I'm a bit, if you see me hobbling about, it's it's all under control and it's not forever, I'm hoping. It'll be, it's just a temporary rebuild myself a bit. I'm a bit, bit messed up at the moment physically, but, and I've got a lot of, I've got like a sprained finger. I think I've got a bit of arthritis starting in my thumb, but that was from playing Red Dead Redemption in lockdown and going like that, riding my horse. It doesn't hurt, it's all like I can still play instruments and I've like knackered my arm in, ripping that, moving house, moving boxes and that, I think I've ripped that muscle a few years ago, it was ages to heal. So I'm just a complete like two legs, one hand that doesn't work, one arm that doesn't work. I'm just a mess. <laughs> I know there's people far worse off, but <laughs> yeah, that's where uh, I just need to recuperate. But yeah, I do, I do strongly believe there's been a physical reaction to my emotional state this year. And, but I feel mentally very well. And I'm kind of, I'm, my music room and healing room is set up now. It's got still got a bit of tidying to do, but it's it's ready to go. And I did a bit of music um, on my uh, 
Crow Moon Drums, um, shamanic drum the other day and a bit of recording just to kind of get the energies going a bit because I've not touched my instruments for a, a good number of months now because I've been in the middle of moving and busy and I'm on holiday and you know it's just kind of getting getting back to that and I started on a new it's just an IT course today which I've got to do for six weeks but I've got to do outside of work in the evening so I've got to knuckle down uh, in the NHS I try to in my day job is try to keep myself educated even though this won't be as bad as the last SIPS course I did. My diploma, was it level four diploma? That was a nightmare for two years, but this is just a simple little IT course. I want to upskill an IT because if my legs do fail, I need to get a sit down desk job, not the more physical lugging things and running around hospital campuses job, but we'll see what happens with that. But I'm quite hopeful I'll get held. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm gonna cry about it. I don't feel like, oh, I dread I'm never gonna get better. I just feel it's a temporary problem. Um, that can be solved by via eating lots of pumpkin soup and speaking of pumpkin soup I absolutely loved Andrew's pumpkin soup and I felt very revitalised after it and I've got two more tubs I've got one tomorrow for lunch and one for Friday for lunch and even though yes I may have to toilet myself at work it's it very very revitalising I love a good soup made from fresh vegetables or like I've got some of my dad's tomatoes he's grown in his garden and and things I mean dad made a, a lovely he got a recipe off one of his friends a chilli last night and he's he's recovering from covid as well don't know whether he gave it me I gave it him or we both got it and then he was in one country I was in another country and we met up for lunch and whatever happened but I'm not going to overanalyze stuff it's there the viruses are about everywhere uh, I'm just blessed that I didn't get it bad because a lot of people I know have and been quite poorly um but no one likes to feel like shit but uh, no one wants to die either so it's kind of yeah it's and we had like a lovely made like um beef chili with cheesy mash last night me and my sister because i'm just running the workshop and i was like oh it's lush it's lush and then i'm going to tell you this i'm going to share this with you all so some of you may know I like to go for a good plopsy now and again. At about five o'clock this morning, I have to go to the toilet. Now, our new house upstairs, you've got like a bedroom, landing and toilet. So it's easy access. As you get older, sometimes you have to go for a little wee in the night a few times. And I kind of went for a little plopsy, went downstairs because Andrew's been, been kindly giving me some lifts to work. Because even though my bus stops now, I'm, I'm really struggling with a collapsed knee. Um, so she's been kindly giving me some lifts down to work. And it's only down the road, but um, so I made her a cup of tea. So I'm hobbling downstairs. The cats are screaming for the breakfast and trying to trip me up and spilling the tea all the way up. Luckily, we haven't got carpet on the stairs yet. We've not had that fitted yet, but spilling the tea all the way up, plops it down. She's all wrapped up like a cocoon. And I'm thinking, is she not just turned it and wrapped herself up in the massive duvet or what? And I says, And you know, honey, it's your tea's ready. And she's like, absolutely coughing nearly boffing i was like what's the matter and she's like it's your shit and i'm like i was like sniffed up i was like and what i think because i didn't like match i think it had wafted it had, like followed me through like vortex through the landing into the bedroom and got her and attacked her and woke her up it had, like left all the bathroom and she's in a right state with it and i was like laughing me head off again um yeah, and that's what happened. And I'm using me, and <laughs> oh, that's my dad's chilli. Thanks, Dad. But yes, uh, but then again, Angela, you're the one that do violently sharp, loud farts and give me heart attacks. And my heart actually jumps in bed when they just go pop really loudly. So yeah, revenge is a bitch and calm is a bitch. But but yeah, but th things are looking up. We've got plans, we've got some gigs booked. I've managed to, and just managed to get my tickets for Tori Amos next year. And I love Tori Amos, a massive inspiration. Um, and I've not seen her for a number of years. And I think one of the times I saw her, I was absolutely, I think with Veronica, I was absolutely stoned out of my face. So I don't even remember the gig many years ago. But it's nice to revisit. We try, we try to see new people, we don't kind of go to the same bands all the time. But um, Anne just got a few gigs and she's just booked pink for next year. But I'm I'm wangling whether I let little Ange go in for my ticket because I like pink, but I won't die for it. See, I've seen her before. She was amazing. 
but if someone loves them all and they're gonna have a better time I'm quite happy to take one for the team and let little Ange go so I'll probably do a deal and let her do that with Laura next year but we'll see we'll see what happens see what the boss decides and but yeah we, I mean our date nights are gigs we, we you know we don't go out loads we sometimes go out for a meal but going to see a live band or a live artist it's, it's just phenomenal and yeah we're getting married next year yep yeah, we're we are going to Bali, that's the plan for our honeymoon to get very spiritual in the temples and explore and get attacked by monkeys in the monkey forest and, and things and just kind of indulge in the local culture. So really looking forward to that. I always like to have something to look forward to where it's great living in the moment uh, and I do a lot of headspace on my lunch breaks. I tend to listen to a headspace meditation in my office and switch off and then it's all of a sudden you get a massive internet goes down everyone's banging on your door but that happened yesterday fix now but yeah i kind of try and take that half an hour out of my lunch break just to calm it down because i found headspace to be a really good app to help me um just knocks me out so i've i've, I've texted a few people that i'm going to be commencing doing reiki and yeah, you can do reiki for friends a lot or the odd person um because there's plenty of Reiki practitioners out there at all charge of the earth and promise of the earth and I kind of like to do it on a more ad hoc basis with friends and we both have a good evening together and you know we've got like we've got like the living room here where because I've got the tuned tubes the Solfeggio tuned tubes that Richard has, has made that um, Pyramid Lady um, Pyramid Sound Therapies that are going to go here because I actually haven't got room in my music room with all the stuff I've got. And um, me and Ange thought it was more appropriate to have something where this fireplace would be to, if we're doing, if she's doing crystal healing or I'm doing a, a healing session, that we can just, you know, create some other vibrations as well. So that's what we've decided, because we were very strict on not having Ange's stock in the living room or stuff it was going to be living room only, but her stock is beginning to appear. And I've told her very firmly today, get it out. It goes in your workspace, not in the living room. So that's the rules. Um, I'll add my instruments down here. There we go. So that's where we're at. But now we're very kind of, it's very, very, very cool at the moment. We're, we're spending a lot of time with my dad and my sister. I'm enjoying uh, reconnecting with my sister. There's been many years where I didn't really connect with her for various reasons. And um yeah, it's it's really good. I mean, you know, losing my mum's brought us closer together, even closer. We're getting closer together before my mum got ill and and died. But it was, it's really nice to spend that quality time. And like we went to a farm shop, Max's farm shop, and yeah, it was just lovely to spend some quality time. Get my dad some pies and some cake and things. And yeah, I and mean, it's just nice to spend that family time. We always, when my mum was alive, would go around like once a week and go for dinner or see them and. And things and that was that was nice to to do but things have changed dramatically with not having a mum anymore even though i've got gina and i love gina and alan and just parents to bits and we're so grateful we went on holiday with them um but i'm roaring on now aren't i it's 13 minutes in i need to shut up but yeah we had a really good holiday and really good fun and we've got the memories on our adventures of clans youtube channel so that's all i want to say really positive mindset, healing, my main focus now is healing my body, Keep continuing on focusing on my mind and mental health, eating healthy, I love winter because you get hot pots and yeah, slow cooker, my sister bought me an air fryer so we're going to be doing some air frying experiments and I just love it and our little pussy cats are very happy here, little patty and I'm so pleased the cats are settled, I mean they're going to miss our old neighbours Helen and Craig and Freddie and, and stuff but you, you move on in life and but we still have connections with people that we are friends with so we're just going to get them all around now because I live in, in the house is sorted just about so but that's all I've got to say I hope you're all well and coping and not too worried about things and keep yourselves warm and well fed and uh, be nice to each other and yourselves <laughs>